In this video, I'm going to reveal how to FPS boost your Minecraft using the brand new, highly anticipated, one of a kind Feather Client. Professional developers have worked hours on this client to make it better than Badline or Luna for FPS in Minecraft 1.8 to 1.18. Minecraft FPS is a very important component and I'm going to show you how to get the most as we are one of the first to try out this client. Stop. I'm giving away five client access whitelists and five Minecraft capes. So to enter, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your Discord. Also, by hitting that little subscribe button at the bottom with the bell, you will never miss another video or giveaway. And by joining my Discord, you will have exclusive access to new packs and giveaways. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Feather Client. As you can see, we have the client loaded up right here. And if you can remember, one month ago, I made a video, the first video on YouTube, trying out the Feather Client. In the last month, the developers of the Feather Client have worked tirelessly on making the best FPS boost for this client. This is the client launcher page. As you can see, we have all of our own mods here that we've already enabled. You can add things like Skyblock add-ons, not enough updates, Patcher, which is great. And the good thing, you can distinguish what version you want to add mods to. So if you want to do 1.17.1, 1.18.1, you can do that very easily. Not only that, you can browse mods and download them as you please, which is pretty awesome. Like, for example, you can get something called Iris Shaders, and I'm just going to go ahead and add it right there. As you can see, you can toggle it on and off. It's very simple to use, and this is far more advanced than I've seen from any other Minecraft client right now. It even has its own categories, like Fun, for example, Media, Tools, Performance, which is awesome, and for your very own, Hypixel. You have mods... As you can see, you can look at the dungeon rooms for Skyblock. They've put a lot of time and effort into this client. They've even partnered up with servers already. But that's enough talking. Let's actually perform the highly anticipated FPS boost. Now, I know what you're probably wondering. Tom, is the Feather Client better than Badline or Luna? Now, the owner sent me an FPS comparison video where he compared FPS on 1.8 between Luna, Badline, and Feather Client. And I'm going to put it on the screen as I'm speaking right now so you can kind of see the comparison. They also sent me the cap comparison between Luna Client 1.18, Badline 1.18, and Feather 1.18, which, by the way, is far superior. They are the best in terms of that singular test. Having said that, they explained to me that they are still working on optimizations despite them having an edge. I mean, we're literally in the Hypixel lobby right now, breaking roughly 1,000 FPS while recording, which, to be fair, is quite rare. And obviously, it depends on where you're looking around but it's very awesome now why is this all so exciting right now if you haven't already heard about the feather client it's something that is releasing very soon it's currently under closed beta so if you have a whitelist you can try it out but if this is your first time looking at the feather client this is what it looks like so as you can see i right shift to open up the menu pretty similar to every other client now if i f5 as you can see i've got myself a little beta cape right here i actually really like this and as you can see you can change your cosmetics right here it looks like they're gonna have wings boots and hats as well which i'm looking forward to the boots i think that'll be quite cool now if we get into the creme de la creme the one element you're looking for the one thing you're most excited about we click on the settings this is what the mod menu looks like now if i had to describe this it's kind of a combination between luna and badline you know it takes elements from both of these clients and i don't think that was intentional but i just think most clients these days are looking for a style that is suited to something similar to make it easy for players you know you don't want to try something completely different you know you don't want one mod in the bottom right one mod in the top left all over the place you want it pretty simple and i really like this i like the settings now if you pay attention i do have most of my mods already enabled as you guys know i'm not really someone that enables a bunch of mods i don't know about you guys but i like keeping my screen quite minimal as you can probably tell i have my fps in the bottom left which i advise you to pay good attention to throughout this video and my cps in the bottom right now, the one thing I do like is that they now have a preview section for all of the mods. So as you can see for FPS, you can see it like right here, how it looks. 
Same with coordinates. You can actually preview how you want your chords page to look. If you want to change the color of it, take, make it red. Uh, you can do that pretty easily and it will update in real time, which I find really awesome. So you don't actually have to enable it and keep looking, tabbing out, looking here. You can just look at it in the preview here and I really like that. And it's like that for pretty much every single mod, which to be honest is really nice. Now, if you're lucky enough to get access to this client or win my giveaway and you want to work out how to boost your FPS better than Badline or Luna, what you're going to want to do is click on the right shift, go into the feather settings, and they even have their very own section right here called performance. Now, essentially what you're going to want to do here is follow pretty much the settings I have, although I don't have them optimized for FPS and I'm still getting good FPS. However, you can mess around with these settings. I would recommend enabling pretty much all of these because they do help with improving your FPS. And if you don't like them, you can always reset to defaults. But if you are looking for that advanced FPS boost, going into the performance setting on the right shift is exactly where you want to be. Well, we're into our first game of Sky Wars on this client. I've already used it today on this client, and I'm not going to lie, I've been playing like an absolute animal, so uh, I can't wait to just tear it up again. And uh, now that I'm recording, it probably won't go the same way, uh, but I really hope it does, and we got that. Okay, there we go. The good thing about this is that I know I'm the only person in the game on this client, which, is, again, is kind of like a little cool thing. I don't know. It's kind of like a little flex, not really. But it's just pretty cool to like, you know, maybe there is someone else in this client. But again, it's in closed beta. Not many people even have access to this thing yet. Um, so I doubt it. We've got two blazes right there. There we go. This chest. Mate, we are getting absolutely stacked. I don't know what it is today. Oh, he's, he's dying. Let's get him. No. Yes. No. We got him. Let's go. We got him. Oh, we're on fire. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that was terrifying. Let me get those legs on. Oh god, we're still getting chased. Kill this guy. What's this guy up to? Mate, I, I get the best hits on this client, I swear. Oh, this guy's actually not stacked, so we can kill him. Oh my god, he's getting destroyed. There we go. We've won our first game, there we go. When does that ever happen? And we were undisguised. What? Now, one thing I really love about this client is when you press escape, you can even see your character here and you can see your friends list and everything. And I know I'm hyping this client up, but it just looks really good. And I can't wait for the full version to come out, you know, considering it's still in like closed beta. So there's just so much potential I can see for this client. And while they were under development, I hadn't really been using it too much. And there wasn't really a reason for that because to be honest, whenever I use this client, I seem to win. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and say, you know, this client's got some secret powers, but it's a pretty big coincidence. And every hit just feels really smooth as well. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels really smooth. Oh, God. Let's get this guy. There we go. We got him. Chest plate and helmet. Oh, my God. And he had the gapples. All right. There's someone with ender pearls we need to go and get, but I'm pretty sure they've probably ran away by now. Oh, wait, they're in the middle fighting still. Okay, this guy's got full diamond. All right. I'm going to have to hit him off the edge. Yeah, you're gone. And you're gone. Oh, my God. They both went. That's so funny. Prop four chest plate. I didn't even realize I had that. Okay. All right, we need to make the speed count. So there's four players left, and I'm the only one in the middle. I'm tearing this up. Okay, this guy's in the middle. Oh, he's got... He's Quahi. Yo. Okay. Maybe this is Quahi. What the hell? Oh, God. Oh god, the other guy's here as well. Oh my god, this is a mess. Alright. Let's kill Hahi. Oh god. Not teaming on me. Oh, that guy hasn't got a chest plate. This is getting messy, bro. He's got ender pearls. No, no, no. Give me speed, give me speed. Oh, mate, my hits on this client are insane. I can't even lie. There we go, we won. Wait, what happened to the other guy? Did he fall to the void? What? what? I swear I saw someone else. Maybe he left the game. I don't even know what just happened. That was really weird. Now, as we're about to go into another game, something I also do want to show you is that if you click on the Feather Client settings and go into General, you can change the theme of the client. Like, you can go and click on Blue, and as you can see, now everything is blue. Looks really nice, and uh, I really like that because a lot of clients have started adding their own themes, but most, most of the time, they're not easy to, like, change. You know, you have to do individual things, you know. It's not like one main color you can just change for everything, and I really like that. I don't know. 
Maybe that's just me, but I think that's a nice touch. Um, it's something that I'm probably going to take advantage of. Although I do like the default red. You know, it matches kind of like my theme. Uh, that guy. Okay. Calm down there, mate. Okay. Okay. I mean, we've got fire res, buddy. So, nice try. <laughs> um, but we are pretty low here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, all the chests around me are taken as well. That is really annoying. You know what? For the first time, we might not actually win a game, which, to be honest, has been pretty rare recently. Where is everyone? Are they? They're fighting up here. Okay. I see them. All right, let's go clean this up. No. Oh, right, we got the stuff. I see someone over there. The Turkish. I actually really like the uh, the color theme for like when you see a player. All right, we're in the middle here with this guy. He's kind of stacked. He's trying to boat me. Is he shifted? Like, why can't I see his name tag? Is everyone just noobs today? Like, what is going on on Hypixel? Okay. I hit him. <laughs> I hit him. Mate, there's chickens flying absolutely everywhere. What is going on right now? Alright, this is not up for debate. I do not want to have a long bow fight with this guy. At the same time, I want him to come to the middle. Uh, Okay, yeah, he's in the middle now. Alright, let's go. He just ate a gapple. Okay, he's got a doge skin. Oh, no, he hasn't got a doge skin. Oh, yeah. The refill has happened, so I don't want this guy to run away. He's, he's ender I think he might have landed that. Oh, he didn't. All right, good, nice. That guy had ender pearls on him. Oh, my Lord. All right, well, wait, is that two? Oh, my God, that's a lot of snowballs. Wow. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that extensive review of the Feather Client. I was the first person to make a video on this client, and now a month later, I still love this thing. We have some incredible luck. I haven't even lost a game today with this thing. And it just feels really smooth. I can't describe it. You just need to try it yourself. I hope you'll enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.